Hi, this set of five video tutorials is going to show you the basics of using a PC in your classroom. Now this first tutorial is going to show you how to navigate your desktop and your start menu. Now when you log into your computer at your school, this screen will show up and it will have your desktop background image as well as some icons that are usually located on the left. These icons are called desktop shortcuts and they allow you to access whatever program they represent. If you want to access the internet on this computer, you're just going to double click with a left click on that icon and up will pop the internet. And I'm going to exit out of it by clicking on the red X. Now you can add shortcuts to your desktop and you can also delete them. If I want to delete the Internet Explorer from my desktop, I could either right click and hit delete or I can left click on it and hold and drag it up to what's called the recycle bin and then let go of the click. Now whenever you delete anything on your computer, it'll be sent to the recycle bin. Now I'm going to double click on the recycle bin and you'll see the Internet Explorer icon is in the recycle bin. If I click on it, I can choose to do one of two things. If I go to File, I can either restore this icon, which would mean putting it back to where it was before I deleted it, or I can delete it, which would be deleting it permanently, and it'll, you'll not be able to recover it. So in this case, I'm going to restore it, and that's going to send it right back to the desktop, right over here. On the bottom left of your screen, you'll see the Start menu. If you click once on the green button, then this will pop up. Now, if you, if you move your mouse over the All Programs icon, then all the programs that are on your computer will show up. And this ranges anywhere from media players to internet to CD and DVD software. You'll have all kinds of different programs on there. Now, let's say you want to add a desktop shortcut to your desktop for one of these programs that's not already there. Let's do that for Windows Media Player, because you might be using Windows Media Player quite a bit in class, showing your students videos and audio. So let's go ahead and add a shortcut. We're going to right click on Windows Media Player. We're going to go up to Send To and then to the desktop. And we're going to create a shortcut. I'm going to click on my desktop and now there's an icon called Windows Media Player that you can click on any time to access it. Let's go back to the Start menu and let's go ahead and go to something that's called the Search function. If I click on the Search, which is this magnifying glass here, it's going to bring up this window, which allows you to search for any files, folders, or video, or music that's on your computer. You can search for pictures, music, or video, documents, or just all files and folders. And I'm going to click on all files and folders because it's usually the safest way to search. It might take a little longer, but it encompasses your entire computer. So let's go ahead and click on that. And I remember that I have a file called Elephant, but I can't remember where I saved it. So the purpose of this is to find where I have saved this document. So I'm going to type in elephant, and I'm going to click on search, and then very quickly it came up with this document called elephant. Now, I, I see the name here, and I also see what folder it's in. It says it's in my documents folder. So let's go ahead and check and see if it's in my documents folder. If you go to the start again, you'll see that my documents is located right up here. Let's click on that once, left click. And my documents holds all the files on my computer pretty much. It has my music files, it has my pictures, my videos, and even some Word files or Excel documents or whatever you might have. And as you can see, the elephant document is indeed in this, in this folder. And so now I know where to find that for later use. I'm going to exit out. Now finally, whenever you're done with using your computer and you're ready to leave for the day, you're going to want to shut your computer down. If you go to the start, you're going to see right here, you can either log off of your name, which if someone else is going to be using that same computer during that same day, maybe you'd just be logging off. But if you're going to be leaving for the day, you're going to go to shutdown. And this will give you this screen, which once again, you can click on this arrow and you can log off, or you can even restart your computer. And so once you choose what you want to do, you just hit OK, and then your computer would shut down for the day, and then you can restart it the next day. This concludes the first tutorial of the basics of using a PC in your classroom. In this tutorial, you learned how to navigate your desktop and your start menu. In the next tutorial, you're going to learn how to access the calculator in your accessories folder and how to access the volume controls for your computer.